Hey guys, Chris from Provo Beast Audio Installation, and today we're doing an unboxing of this Pioneer 800 watt amplifier. This amp does 800 watts at 1 ohm, 1600 watts max. It is the GMD 8701. We're gonna get this thing all pulled apart to show you everything that this amplifier includes. Let's get started. Now, right off the bat, you do notice it does say 1600 watts max. We'll give you the RMS ratings, which is generally speaking 800 watts at one ohm. Um, it'll do 500 watts at two ohms and 300 watts at four ohms. Now, if you want all the specs on this amplifier, we will throw it down in the description, uh, but let's go ahead and get this thing pulled apart. So the first thing out of the box we have is a uh, base knob wire. This essentially is the cable that will run between the base knob and the amplifier for line level adjustment for your subwoofer. It also comes with a high level speaker input adapter. Essentially it's an RCA cable to speaker wire adapter. This amplifier through the RCA inputs can take a high level amplified signal. So you don't have to get a line out converter for this amp which is pretty cool. Also in the box we have our manual as well as warranty information. We also have the base knob itself. And finally, miscellaneous hardware and Allen wrench for the terminals as well as screws uh, for the amplifier and for the base knob. All right, so we got our amplifier itself here. Now, what's different about this from the previous generation? The power is the same. However, the design is a little bit different. We have kind of a, um, a shinier polished finish here on the top with the Pioneer logo. It is a little bit wider than the previous generation. The dimensions of this are uh, 10 and 7 16 inches long by 7 and 7 8 inches in uh, depth here. And the height of it is 2 and 3 8 Like I said, a little bit bigger front footprint than the previous generation. Also the design with the uh, the mounting locations, it's a little bit different. They're actually closed-ended, which is pretty cool. Okay, so on the power side of the amplifier, we have four gauge power and ground inputs, as well as eight to 12-ish gauge speaker terminals here. Now, you do have two sets of speaker terminals. It is a monoblock amplifier, so both these are in parallel. This just gives you an opportunity to wire up a mul multiple subwoofers to this amplifier. This isn't two separate channels. It's the same channel. They are connected. Um, and we have two 40 amp fuses here as well. Now flipping it over to the other side here, starting on the left hand side, we have RCA output and input here. So essentially this is a pass through in the event you wanna hook up uh, a second amplifier, second base amplifier here, um, you can pass through that signal there. Next here we have our gain, which is essentially the adjustment to match the output of our radio. Um, it isn't a volume knob. You're matching the sensitivity of the output of the radio itself. You notice it is sensitive from six and a half volts all the way down to 0.2 volts. Best way to set your gains in our experience is either with an oscilloscope or um, an SMD DD1 distortion detector. Next to that is our low pass filter. This essentially is the crossover on the amplifier. You can cross over this amp from down to 40 hertz all the way up to 240 hertz. So you can set that crossover. Most times the best place to start with a crossover would be about 80 or so hertz, um, but it may depend on your subwoofer. Finally here, this is the input for the base knob with the included cable. Essentially it plugs in here and then the other end of that cable plugs into your base knob. All right, so just to quickly look at our accessories here, the base knob that it comes with. Uh, pretty typical, we've seen this type, type of base knob style with multiple other amplifiers with different brands. But those two screws will go in there. The other end of our base knob wire here will go between this and the input on the amplifier there. It's a line level adjustment, which is super nice. So the gain is digitally controlled through the amplifier itself. And this bag, because this amplifier can take high level inputs through the RCA inputs on the side of the, the amplifier itself, they do provide this adapter here where these ends will plug into the input on the amplifier right there on the side. And these ends go to a speaker level or a, a level that's already amplified. Most factory radios have built-in amplifiers 
or external amplifiers. And the nice thing about this kit, you don't need a line out converter. Um, you can actually tap these into, so you got your positive and your negative wires. You can tap these into factory speaker wiring to provide your amplifier the signal it needs uh, to play. And finally here you have a nice long base knob cable um, so you can route your base knob wherever you like. All right, so last couple of things here on this amplifier. Um, as mentioned here at the beginning of the video, um, we'll throw the specs down in the description, but just to quickly review, this amplifier does 800 watts at one ohm. Um, at two ohms, it does 500 watts, and at four ohms, it does 300 watts. Max power is 1600 watts, but again, you can rely more so on the RMS rating. If you wanna see this guy in action, what we're gonna be doing is installing this on the 2015 WRX. We're gonna actually be pairing it with this four channel counterpart um, and that install. And so check that on out. We're gonna have a link down in the description as well as a card up above. That's about it for this unboxing. If you like what you saw, hit the like button. We really appreciate it. If you wanna see more of this, be sure to subscribe because we post great content on the channel all the time. Thanks again for watching and we will see you in the next video.